what is good, Booyah Nation? It's your boy, Double A Nine Skills. Welcome back to the Dormant Career Mode. Before we jump into it, can I just say thank you guys for the love and support on every single episode up until this point. This is episode number eight, and every single episode has a crazy amount of likes. And I can only say thank you to the Booyah Nation, man, for all the love and support. And I'm truly happy you guys are really enjoying the Dormant Career Mode. Now, in the last episode, we talked about goalkeepers. Now, I just went through the comments on that video and I have a list of of what you guys said and honestly some of them I can't even believe actually made this list and it will actually blow your mind as well first of all Courtois now he was pretty far down the list but somebody told me to swap Aubameyang for Courtois now I want to say a few things about this first of all I can't even imagine giving a striker for a goalkeeper before I started this Dortmund career mode I didn't even care about goalies to give a striker like Aubameyang for a goalie never in my mind would I do that never in my wildest dreams would I do that but now that I'm at this dormant career mode and I see that our goalkeepers have cost us every other game they cost us a goal, a goalkeeper's massively needed. But to give Aubameyang, I'm still not 100% sold on that. And I don't even know if that will work. Regardless, I'm going to add Courtois to our short list. And this one really blew my mind. Dude's top comment with 234 likes, or it was 334 likes, one or the other, is Roy Patricio. Now, guys, before we bite on this, I really want to sit down and talk to you guys and let it simmer down and chill. Roy Patricio did have an incredible Euro, and he's hyped up right now. Everybody loves Roy Patricio because the game he played against France. But let's chill for a second and really think about it. Is Roy Patricio the goalkeeper for Dortmund? Is this something you guys really want? Or is it just loads of thumbs up because of the performance you saw him do in IRL? Because IRL from this year doesn't really matter. Now, Roy Patricio, EA might look at that performance he had in the final of the uh, of, of the Euro and be like, okay, next year Roy Patricio is going to be amazing in this game. But right now, is Roy Patricio that good in this game? I need you guys to let me know down below. But he's another one. He was a top, so we're going to add him. Uh, maybe we're going to tell my man Jay to go scout him. Let's have him scout Roy Patricio. And you know what I said? He, you know what I mean? He's a keeper that, you know, if we do go after him, he's a keeper that isn't a lot of money. We probably could sign him for not that much. Up next is Hugo Lloris, the Frenchman. Again, he was on the list, and when I, he was one of the most favorite thumbs up, man. I saw him a few times. Now, I don't know if this is because of the Euro final. I don't know if he's hyped up because of the performance he had for France during the, during the year, or if because Lloris is just an amazing, amazing, amazing goalie. Regardless, Lloris is definitely somebody I would like to bring into Dortmund. I love Lloris as a goalie. I love what he brings to the table. I love everything about him. Look at that, man. Goalie reflex is 88. Goalkeeper diving 87, reflection 80 floor, hands 82, positioning 81. I do feel like the positioning and his reactions are massive, massive. Ma Did I say reflections? I meant to say reactions. Anyways, those two are the biggest ones, yo, because you just want him to be, and, ref and, 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 and reflex is big as well. You want the guy to just be able to get there and parry it. So Loris, already on the list, definitely somebody we're going to go after in the winter time. One more guy that was heavily, heavily, heavily wanted was the guy we actually tried to sign in uh, the, the, the summertime already. And that's Anthony um, Lopez, the French Portuguese guy. And honestly, I, I don't know enough about this keeper, man, because I don't watch Leon. The only reason I even know about him is because the Portuguese papers talk about him a lot. And we saw he was in the lineup for year. He was at the year old with Portugal but never came in because Roy Patricio was the number one guy. So clearly Roy Patricio in real life, they think is a better keeper than Anthony Lopez. So maybe in the game, he's also better as well. One more guy, and this is one that definitely we're going to have to go for. And we went after him in the summer as well, is going to be Leno. So my dudes... Out of these five keepers I just showed you on the screen, I need you guys to blow it up down below. Leno, Roy Patricio, Loris, Courtois, Anthony Lopez. Who do you guys want us to sign? Be smart about this. Blow it up in the comments. Thumbs up the guy when you see Booyah Nation. When you see, I'm about to call you Booyah Family because my vlog channel, my bad. Booyah Nation, when you see uh, the, the guy you want to sign, smash a thumbs up on him so he could be the top one. And we'll definitely put, that, that'll be the guy we go for right when the window opens up. Now, right now, Leno is in bad form, which means signing him could actually be easier because his form is not good. And who knows? Maybe he's not even happy with the club, but he's already on that short list up next is champions league football now you guys know i like to change up my lineup for the champions league but right now there is no time to change up the lineup because in two games we have one point 
We have a loss and a draw. So, Booyah Nation, there's no more messing around. We got to go into this with our top lineup. The team that we're about to face is on three points. So, with a win today, as long as Leon don't get a victory, even if they tie, we'll be tied up for second place. So, Grisman, Royce, the Incredible Hawk. That's going to be our front three. Witzel, Ramsey, Sanchez. I like that. Soccer Tease. The only problem is my man uh, came to me and told me he wants some playing time. So, I'm going to bench Soccer Tease for this game and let the center back get a go. He said he wants a little bit of playing time. Blasikovsky, should I start him over the Incredible Hawk? I am going to start him over the Incredible Hawk. I'm going to start him over, you know, not the Incredible Hawk. My bad people in the comments told me, stop saying that, over Hawk. I'm going to start Blasikovsky over Hawk. And uh, I want to give Lozano the go. You know what, man? Let's let's play around with the team. Hawk going to play striker. Lozano going to play over Royce. Uh, yo, why didn't mean to do that? Yo, so there you go. I said I wasn't going to play with the lineup too much, and I am actually playing with the lineup quite a bit, man. I definitely like the format we put together. Me breaking it down into five keepers for you guys to vote on down below is actually pretty awesome because now you guys are going to let me know what keeper you want me to sign. I'm going to go ahead and write it down on this paper and the top one, and right when that transfer window opens up, boom, we're going to jump right into it by me bidding on whatever keeper is the top comment on this video. In the next episode, I'm going to do the same thing with strikers. I'm going to go to the video. I told you what number nine we should sign. I'm going to get the top five guys I see the most. I'm going to come to the video. I'm going to tell you the top five. And then you guys are going to vote and tell me which guy we should go with right when the window opens up. Lozano over to Renato Sanchez. I see Grisman. Yo, wait. Where's the Incredible Hawk? I wanted the Incredible Hawk to play striker. Okay, good pass. Hey, Renato Sanchez. A European champion at the age of 18. This guy must be on the top of the world, bros. He plays against Bayern Munich in like, where, where did they think I get? Was it like the quarters of the semifinals, Champions League? Something like that. They got pretty far. I forget where they went to. I think it was the quarters. Not, not, not the semis, the quarters, right? Or maybe the semis? No, it was the quarters. Uh, so they got to the quarters. Renato Sanchez in that lineup. He won the Portuguese League. Um, and then he goes on and wins the Europa. Uh, he wins the, uh, the Euro. Uh, with Portugal at the age of 18, bros. He did all that at the age of 18. Oh, mistake, mistake, mistake. Oh, big keeper. The keeper actually just saved me right there. I see Griezmann. Good pass in. Yo, Ramsey, make that run. Ramsey, make that run. Luke Shaw does make the run. Over to my boy Lozano. He cuts back into the middle. Renato Sanchez. How do you not score? This has been our problem all season. Why is Renato Sanchez playing the number nine position? Loses the ball instantly, unlucky. Ball over the top is a beauty. David Luiz, you gotta be there. He is David Luiz saving the day like a bouse. I'm sliding, I miss. I sliding again, another miss. I sliding, I miss. A ball into the back post. David Luiz, Witzel, keeper. Down, or send it down. Stop, I mean, stop, it's time. Back to Witzel, Ramsey. Fake shot, Ramsey, good ball into the middle, Lozano's right there to finesse it, and that's going to be out for a goal kick, and it's going to be halftime. In stoppage time, I try to find a second, I couldn't do it. I'm going to pull Grisman here, man. I'm going to pull Grisman for the Incredible Hawk. It's who I want to start either way. Stop saying the Incredible Hawk skills, my bad. I'm going to pull Grisman for Hawk. Uh, it's because who, that's who I wanted to start this game with either way. Grisman had a good run, man. Renato Santos should have made it 2-0. We didn't do it, and I guarantee you it's going to come back to bite us in the butt. Ref, how's that not a free kick, ref? Ref, how was that not a free kick? David Luiz off the post. David Luiz couldn't get there, and it's off the post. Thank goodness for that. I do see Witzel, and I find him. Witzel into Hawk. Hawk couldn't get the shot off, but he keeps it alive. Lozano's with it. Oh, Renato Sanchez. I wanted Witzel first time. Witzel, scoop turn. Witzel can't shoot. Pitch check slides in and misses. Oh, and I'm not going to get there with Luke Shaw. I didn't get there with Luke Shaw. Ball into the middle. David Luiz now misses. Keeper comes out. The shot off the crossbar. The rebound into the back of the net. 1-1. One, one. Oh, my gosh, man. I'm telling you right now, yo. Every single game, man. Ah, man. Aubameyang into the game. Lozano coming out. Um, Salvio also into the game. Hawk going to play the left. Salvio going to play the right. Aubameyang got striker. Bros, I'm telling you right now, man. It doesn't matter. It just... We miss goals. Renato Sanchez missed the 2 0. And then all of a sudden, from this, I bring the keeper out smartly, I think. Hits the crossbar, goes back, and he puts the header in. I can't really blame the key keeper here. We get beat on the counter, and we're not winning because Renato Sanchez missed the one on one pretty much. It, it sucks, man. Here comes Renato Sanchez. He loses again. Witzel keeps it alive. All the way up top. I wanted Ramsey. Goes to Aubameyang instead. I do see Ramsey still. Now I hit Ramsey. Let me cut inside with Ramsey. I go back into Aubameyang. Aubameyang trying to use his speed. I got nothing, so I give it to Renato Sanchez. Renato Sanchez shoots, and it goes right to the keeper. 88th minute. Please do not lose it. 
Please do not lose it. David Louise, good win back. It's going to fall to him, though. And it falls nicely to him as well. Clear the danger. Nice. Yo, push, push, push again. Push again. Last chance. Last chance, boys. Last chance. Ramsey, all the way up top to Salview. Fresh legs. Fresh legs on Salview. Fresh legs on Salview. The Argentinian. Still Salview. Still Salview. Renato Sanchez. Yes! Renato Sanchez! Our first win in the Champions League is going to come from two ex Benfica men. Salve you with a beautiful pass and Renato Sanchez. Finally, he scores. And guys, I think, yo, he almost missed it. I mean, he shot it so high up. Oh, man, that could have hit the crossbar. Thank goodness. Come on, more goals than our strikers. Sanchez should be a number nine in this game. The guy plays so much like a striker. He's always in the box. Unreal. What a win. What a victory, man. We could, we could show that replay one more time. Absolutely incredible run from Salvio. He looks down. He sees Renato. Plays it in. Renato goes near post. And United beat off uh, Celtic 4-0. PSG ties with FC Porto. Benfica ends up losing their game. A lot of people told me to take the, the Portugal job. Okay, who is this guy? 18 years young. 18 years young once ago. Um, yo, should I accept the Portugal job and then not really show you guys? Because if we stay here for two years, it could be fun at some point to show some... You know you know what? Guys, I'm going to take the Portugal job just because it's my nation. Just because, uh, you know, it'll be fun. I'll simulate the games. I won't show you guys. I'll completely simulate. But if we do stay with Dortmund for two years, we could end up doing like the World Cup or something, which could be cool. I'm going to take the job. People told me in the comments to do it. Back to the Bundesliga, where we are in first place, tied on points. Still feel a bit lost with my squad, seeing that the goalkeeper is not performing well. So with that being said, 18 years young. Whoa, bros. He, he's a 53 rated. He's a 53 rated. Yo, you know what, though? I don't care. My keepers have been so doo-doo that I'm going to throw an 18-year-old 53 overall rated keeper into my squad, yo. That's how un like happy I am with the freaking quality I have at that position. Luke Shaw going to hit the bench. Um, also, my man Park Ho going to come in. Park Joe Ho, left back. We got right back, fresh legs coming in. Witzel going to hit the bench for my man Shinji Kagawa. Uh, uh, Ramsey going to hit the bench for Sayin. Witzel going to stay in there. Incredible Hawk. Nah, nope. Hawk, my bad. Gotta stop saying incredible skills. Yo, it's stuck in me for some reason. My man Park Joe Ho, over to Royce. Over to Royce. Park Joe Ho back in the box. Park Joe Ho, penalty. Penalty on Park Joe Ho. Penalty on Park Joho, Raf. Oh, Raf, yo, come on, man. Shinji Kagawa, the beast himself. Shinji back into the lineup. Shinji still on it. Still Shinji Kagawa. Shinji Kagawa! Goal! Shinji Kagawa. Yo, come on, man. I got to be playing this guy more, man. I keep playing Renato Sanchez in his position, but I got to move Renato Sanchez back to where Witzel plays with Ramsey and then bring in Shinji because Shinji Kagawa is too nice, man. He has the skill moves. He has the shots on. Him, he has the speed on him. First corner of the game for them. And we're gonna see how the core how the goalkeeper reacts to this. Obamyang, thank goodness we didn't. Oh, wait, the keeper might get tested. The keeper might get tested. What a save! Come on, baby! What a big boy save! Can we see the replay? Oh, get get there, young man! Get there, young man! Yes, that's a grown man save. And Antoine Griezmann can start the counterattack in a big chance here with Aubameyang coming forward with me. Where's Aubameyang? Aubameyang, why did you slow down? I see you, Aubameyang. I see you, Aubameyang. Oh, my goodness. It connected to Royce instead of Aubameyang. Stop it. We stop him. Shinji can't knock it forward. Park Joho can't do nothing with it. He slides in. Keeper. 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 I don't even care. I accidentally threw it out. My bad. This keeper lights out playing like a grown man, playing like the next Neuer. Let's go, Royce. You ain't, uh, we ain't really said your name much, Royce. Sh Kagawa, Shinji, Kagawa, he's in there. The finesse shot in the keeper with a mean save. Big save for them. Ball to the middle, the header, and the keeper's right there. This is what I like to see, man. So at halftime, I'm trying to think of what the right move is, man. I like the way the team's been playing, but Witzel is tired. So I'm going to pull him out for Renato Sanchez, I believe. And I'm kind of pe I'm, I'm kind of pissed off because we have a young dude on this team that's 19. He's a midfielder. I forget his name. It starts with a W. I keep forgetting to bring him. I want to give him more playing time. 
and I keep forgetting to bring him. There's nobody on the bench that I really want to bring in more than Renato Sanchez. I do want to give Lozano a little bit of playing time. And uh, yo, yo, look, Renato Sanchez is back playing striker, boys. It doesn't matter if I play him at CDM, at CM. Renato Sanchez back in the box. He's up there playing striker. And now all of a sudden, I have no midfield. Aubameyang with a mean steal. And then he falls. Oh, whoa. Aubameyang. Aubameyang. What the hell was that? I have never seen legendary computer make such a big mistake. But that mistake is massive. Let me get some defense here. Let me get some defense. Let's keep a clean sheet. Keep a clean sheet. Keep a clean sheet, keeper. Oh, gosh. Ah, oh, yo, he's been great. He's been great. Ah, oh, he's been great the whole time, bros. He's been great the whole time, bros. Hawk on it. What can I do with him? Hawk. Yo, what happened? Why'd he fall over? Hawk. Hawk. Yes, Hawk. Come on. Dance on him, baby. Dance on him, baby. Hawk at the striker position. Well played. 3 1. Yes, indeedy, don't be greedy. What a play right there. I think it's, yo, it's Shinji Kagawa. It's Shinji with a sit, another assist in this game. David Luiz slides in and misses. Oh, no, the breakaway is real. Keeper, 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 keeper. Ah, no. It's starting to cost me, man. It's starting, well, first of all, it's a defensive breakdown. I slide in with David Luiz. It's not the keeper's fault. I see Hawk. Hawk with an opportunity right here. Yo, just wait for Sanchez. Don't worry, he's going to his striker position. Look, he's right there. He's right there. Sanchez in his striker position. I give it all. Shinji Kagawa. Oh, my goodness. It hit him in the chesticles and went right to the keeper. We're walking out of here with three points. Once again, we win in this dormant career mode, and we do it with a goal from Hawk off the bench. Absolutely incredible performance from a lot of the players on the pitch. The goalkeeper did the best he could, man. He suffers two goals. As we go ahead and uh, send this go, send this up, Ramsey doesn't even move because he got a D. Lozano, I think, kind of went up. I'm not really sure. I'm going to simulate this game because I truly believe that we're going to advance regardless. So let's go ahead and simulate this game. Let's go ahead and get it in there. We're going to run a simulation here. Hopefully nobody gets hurt. R R uh, it's Ramsey, Renato Sanchez, Hawk, Griezmann, and, and Royce. And we're going to sim... What the hell just happened? We suffer a goal. Royce just missed the penalty. Hawk saves the day with a big boy goal, the Brazilian man. Hawk, well played. Now Griezmann, well played. So in the cup, in the German cup, who came out? Aubameyang came out or Griezmann came out for Aubameyang in the German cup. We actually str we're struggling here, man. We're str get, get out of here with a victory. Yes, we win it 2-1, man. That was very, at least nobody got hurt. Royce missed the penalty. It hasn't been the best season for Royce, man. Let's just be honest with each other. It has not been the best season for the boy Royce. All right, so I want you guys to look at the stats real quick. Aubameyang with three. Griezmann with three. Hawk with three. Renato Sanchez with three. What are we seeing here? My boy Royce is not performing. One goal in nine games. Yes, four assists. He's probably leading the team with assists. No, Renato Sanchez has four as well. Um, So... Royce definitely underperforming right now. That's a pretty, that's pretty sad, man, because Griezmann and Griezmann, yo, I would say Griezmann's underperforming too. Aubameyang, six games, four goals. He got to be our starting striker, yo. Royce not really performing at the highest. He does have four assists, so we got to give him that. We do have to give the boy that. He has four assists. I'm going to try to get three games in, man, literally almost there. We're so close to the transfer window already, which is insane. Feels like this career mode just started, and it's right around the corner. Booyah Nation, smash the big old thumbs up if you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe. Spin your boy's Skills. Love your face. Let me know if I should play Royce as striker. I'll see you guys later. All right? Bye. But why are you holding your nose? <laughs> What's the matter? I made it out the girl's store alive. Safe. It's okay. I, I can't even breathe. What are you talking about? Nothing even happened. I literally have to breathe through my mouth, but I feel like I'm eating it. <laughs> I may not. I may, I may not. I may have. But Farted rotten eggs. <laughs> yes, you may have. You did. I didn't mean to, yo. Yo, guys, it's bad. Guys, that is. A <laughs> My friends told me in high school that if you hold it in, you can faint. Aye, <laughs> it's not that bad. Guys, if anybody's ever smelled like a baby's diaper, imagine that times like 15. My cousin used to call me pamper farts. <laughs> they got pamper farts. It doesn't smell that bad. <laughs> How are you just basking your own ambience? <laughs> Yo, because we, you, you I, I, because when you, when you have a baby, when you man it, you take care of it. Okay, I man, I had that baby. I man that. I took, I put that. Out.